What's going on guys? Geosnorig here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install iFile on iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2, 10.3 and so on without having a jailbreak. Now you should understand from the beginning that this is not going to give you as many options as on a jailbroken device since iFile doesn't have access to the file system. But it's going to enable you to have a hex editor, a text editor and some you know file management on your device in the actual sandbox of the application. So you can actually modify with a hex editor on a jailbroken device, which is quite nice. Now, uh, I have the iFile IPA in here. I'm not going to link it in the description due to copyright reasons, but you can find it with a Google search, I guess. And you also need CDI Impactor for this matter, which is going to be available in the description down below. Now, what I need to do is to drag and drop the file into the CDI Impactor and then to log in. As you can see, it asked me for a uh, login information. This is my uh, Apple ID and password, so I'm going to be right back. All right, so um, you can see it deploys the application and it's going to be available on your device. You might get an error on CD Impactor after verifying, but yeah, this one here, but it still works. Even if you get this error in here, the application is still installed on your, on your uh, device. So let's move on to the actual phone and see what we can do with iFile on a non-jailbroken device. So uh, we're on the uh, device, the application, as you can see, has been deployed, even though CD Impactor errored out at some point. But before we can open it, we need to approve the profile. So we need to go ahead in here in settings and to general, and then to scroll through the profile and device management. And I'm going to go ahead in here, select my email account and trust it. There we go. You need to have an active internet connection for this to be possible. And now the application should start. As you can see, it does. Now, here are the limitations that you have on iFile on a non jailbroken device. You only have access to these folders in here, to documents, iFile.app, library, and TMP. And that's because the application runs sandboxed. You do not have sandbox escaping. So you cannot actually see the other um, files in here. You can actually see the folders, but you cannot see what's inside them. And that's because your application doesn't really have access to these. So uh, you cannot actually modify system files. That's something important you should know. And you cannot modify other applications straight from iFile. You need to press this home button in here every time you browse. And here you have the documents, iFile, app library and TMP now uh, if you go here in documents you can actually create folders and files that are you know are going to be part of the file system by going to edit and uh, you press the plus button and you can actually create any kind of uh, folders you want for example folder like this fine click create and you're going to to create a new folder and inside the folders or outside the folder you can actually create files which is somehow important. I mean, for me, it brings a couple more functionality than the um, the actual device has. So if I click edit in here and click plus, and I go here to type, I can actually create a uh, regular file. And this file can actually be anything. For example, I can actually name it, I don't know, cat.c, which is going to be a C file. Okay, so I have created a um, C language file for programming. I can actually create a CPP for C++ if I want. And if I press it, I can actually edit and write whatever I want to write in here. So this is very important because if I can write anything in here, I can also save it. So there we go. I have some sort of file editing on my device without being jailbroken. And you know, I can actually code in this while I'm while I'm in a break and so on, and then move the files over to my computer. For that, you need to modify the IPA before you side load it so that it allows file sharing, which is something important. And in one of my videos, I actually show you how to do it. But anyways, yes, you can actually do this. And also, if you enable file sharing of the application, you can actually go ahead on your computer and use something like, I don't know, iPhonebox and put any binary of any sort uh, here on the documents folder in the iFile and you will be able to reach it in inside the iFile in here in the documents folder and modify it later. For example, I'm going to go here to the iFile and locate the binary of this to show you that the actual hex editor works, which is quite nice. So um, yeah, I'm going to get this. Let me try to edit. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead in here and take this one, copy. 
done. And I'm going to go ahead in, into its uh, documents folder so that I can make a uh, copy of this. Paste. There we go. I have the binary in here and I'm not going to modify directly the binary of the app. So I just made a copy in its documents folder. And this is an actual application. This is an actual Maco binary that I can simply open in the hex editor. You can see you have a couple editors in here and I can modify the hex values of this and I can modify the application, which really helps me when I really need to do this on the fly. And you have a couple buttons in here to enter decimal byte index to display and so on. You have a lot of um, a lot of things in here that I can actually use, you know, full screen and so on. It's, it's quite nice. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in modifying binary and so on directly on your device, you can put the binary in here and the documents from your computer and then modify it when you have time on your device, which is quite nice. Then another feature of this is the ability to see plist files or property list files. And I have one in here, the actual property list of the um, of the iFile itself. Let me try to look for it. It should be near the uh, binary. So we're going to see it. Okay, iFile and there we go, info.plist. I can actually open this plist in the property list viewer and you can see I have all the content of it and I can pretty much modify it and do whatever I want with it. You, you also have the toggles in here for various other things and you can even edit and add your own values to this or remove values from this. So yeah, uh, this method gives you a little bit more than Apple gives you on the stock device. Even iOS 11 has a file application, but it's not possible to use anything like, you know, hex um, editors and so on, or property list editors and stuff like that, or some sort of foldering. It's, it's impossible on iOS 11. So yeah, even if you're not jailbroken and you cannot modify the system files, at least you have a hex editor in here, you have some sort of file management, and you can actually put files from the computer inside the documents folder of the uh, iFile and access them on the device and modify them, you know, use them and stuff like that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumb up, tell me in the comment section down below if you're using uh, iFile on your non-jailbroken device and peace out.